So this lesson will go through kidney failure in terms of its causes and effects. So recall in module 8 HSE biology, disorders and technology, you are required to know three different disorders slash diseases. The two disorders you need to know are vision loss and hearing loss. The disease you need to know is kidney failure. So we're going to explore kidney failure in terms of its causes, and it's been listed right here, with the number one most common cause of kidney failure being diabetes. Increased glucose in the circulation damages blood vessels, and it can damage small blood vessels like the glomerular capillary network. A high pressure Flowing through these capillaries can also damage these vessels, impairing filtration. This is seen in high blood pressure, also known as hypertension. There are other rarer causes of kidney failure, and this includes autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease. You can see an image here of two enlarged kidneys with very huge vesicles filled with fluid. Individuals with this disease have the same signs and symptoms as kidney failure. However, the kidneys are so large, you can actually feel it on abdominal examination. Recurrent infections can also drive urine back up the ureters into the kidney, cause recurrent infection, scarring, and eventually kidney failure. And finally, certain drugs, such as your analgesics, your pain-relieving medications, can also predispose you to kidney failure. The important point to note is a definition of kidney failure, which is marked by a decrease in filtration across the glomerulus. We define this as a low glomerular filtration rate. You aren't required to know cutoffs, but just understand that there are different levels of kidney failure. With end-stage kidney failure, being the lowest glomerular filtration rate. We're now going to look at the presentation of kidney failure. What does a person look like when they have failing kidneys? The main job of the kidneys is to remove toxins and excess electrolytes and water from your circulation. The main waste product in the circulatory system is urea. So what we see in kidney failure, logically, is the buildup of urea. And you can see that with this person having a yellowish tinge. The buildup of urea also causes bruising and itching of the skin. And that can also be seen in individuals with kidney failure. You can also note that the feet have been drawn slightly larger. And that's to represent the swelling of the limbs that occurs in kidney failure. An image here shows you. We call this edema. Edema meaning the buildup of fluid. It's most commonly seen in the lower legs, just simply due to gravity. And you can see an individual pressing on the shin bone and it leaving an indentation. And this is how we check for increased fluid in the lower limbs. Now, it's important to note the high urea also causes effects in the brain where it can cause weakness, confusion, and eventually a coma if it's not cleared via dialysis. Remember, the kidney is also important in hormonal control, especially of red blood cell production. So you may also see a mild anemia with kidney failure. And since the kidney is involved in vitamin D activation, you may also see low vitamin D. Now, I've bolded the key exam questions they'll ask here. The key issues are high urea and inability to clear fluid. And before we move on to dialysis, I'd just like to confirm that kidney failure is a terminal illness and dialysis is not curative. The only curative process and management for kidney failure is a kidney transplant. And that concludes kidney failure.